Hey YouTube, Ryan from Droid Review here. Hey, um, I know you guys have uh, been requesting this a lot, so I'm going to finally give it a little tutorial on how to do a wireless tether or Wi-Fi tethering or tethering, whatever you want to call it. Um, I I'm pretty sure most of you guys know how to do this. I don't know why you don't now, considering most of you know how to do custom ROMs, because it's fairly fairly simple. Um, for one, in order to wireless tether, you're going to need to have a custom ROM usually. Um, this is one right here. Um, I'm using Ultimate Droid. Uh, with the uh, Helix 2 launcher, which is in beta right now, as you can see, it's a little bit different. I'm not a big fan of it. Um, I'll just give you a little tidbit of what it is. Um, as you can see, the launcher is right here on the right, and it gives you the, 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 the whoops, gives you the wonderful, um, gives you the wonderful 3D effect when you click on certain things, or I'm sorry, when you click on the um, app drawer there, which I, I really do like, um, but it's still a bit laggy to me in my in my opinion, um, going back and forth, and I'm not a big fan of this dock down here of the, the, the icons that are always going to be staying there. Um, I, I, I really don't care for it. I'm not a big fan of it. Um, it kind of reminds me of the iPhone a little bit there, which is not a big deal at all. But um, I kind of like, this is just weird on the right hand side there, but you know, with anything, you know, any, when anything changes, everyone thinks everything's weird. So um, it's actually pretty cool. So hopefully, you know, when it's released, it'll be a little bit more fine tuned. Um, but um, it's real simple, you know, to go back and forth from each one. I mean, I could easily just go back to my regular Helix and um, everything else is basically the same. Obviously it takes a little bit of loading time here, but um, when I actually click on the, um, the drawer it's just a regular drawer it's not you know the 3d scrolling effect um, and you know you still have the different screens that you can have um, whatever obviously there's no bounce back though so you're not seeing it bounce back when it hits the final screen anyways um, this video is on wireless tethering so I'm not gonna go too much into it but that was helix 2 it's, it's still in beta version um, I, you know what I'm gonna have a download link for it so you can easily install it First things first, um, please download the stuff that you're going to need. There's going to be an APK in the description there um, for wireless tethering and obviously the Helix 2. So what you're going to want to do is um, you're going to want to go into the EOE app installer right there. Um, that's going to be able to install your um, custom APKs. Um, if you have it transferred, uh, your uh, wirelessly tethered to your SD card, it's going to come up right there on the bottom. If you just click and hold on it, click on install this APK. I've basically already installed it, you know, so we don't have to go ahead and replace it. We can just click cancel, but you're going to want to just install it. Once it's installed, um, you're going to want to uh, obviously open it up. So it's going to be all the way down here at the bottom. Um, so it's right here, wirelessly, wireless tether, not YouTube. Sorry about that, guys. One more time. All right. Wireless tether. So click on wireless tether. It's going to bring up the screen that looks like this. Um, it's really easy, actually. Um, what I would recommend doing is just click menu. Go ahead and click on the setup. Um, you have a bunch of different options. Um, you can uh, enable Wi-Fi encryption, which basically puts a, a WEP password on there. Um, you can change your passphrase, obviously, to, to make it um, a, a custom WEP. Uh, your SSID, which is uh, basically what your um, your Wi-Fi signal is going to be named as. Right now, I think it's defaulted as yeah Android Tether. So you can rename that whatever you want. If you want it to, you know, if you want to say, you know, uh, Deutschbag Wireless, whatever, you can name it Douchebag Wireless, whatever you want to do. All right? I'm just going to keep it Android Tether. Um, there's a couple of different features on here, all this different stuff, vibrate to connect, notification ringtone, um, which is kind of cool to have because if someone does connect to your phone, it'll give you a, a notification and vibrate or make a little ring when it does. So we're going to test this out right now. So all we got to do is just click on press to start tethering. It's going to enable some stuff. Well, it's going to bring up this menu. It's a root access. So let's always click remember, click allow. So it's going to start, it's going to do this real quick. Give it a minute here. Okay, so it says we're tethered. Um, nothing's connected to us. But So I'm going to set down my device, pick up another device, and show you that I'm going to wirelessly tether to this. So um, hold on one second. So we're setting this down. We're bringing up, oh my god, it's an iPhone 3GS, people. Don't freak out. Um, yes, Droid Review has an iPhone 3GS, and I use it all the time. 
it's a great device. I'm not going to slam it. It, it honestly is. Um, I have, I use both. I use my Droid and I use my, my iPhone. I mean, it's kind of like those guys out there that, that need a wife and a girlfriend, you know, and here's my wife and over here sometimes I like my girlfriend. So sue me. I have an iPhone. Okay. Anyways, enough with that. Uh, we're just going to, I'm just going to show you for purposes here. We're going to go into the Wi-Fi. We're going to turn it on. And it's going to search for networks, and there it is, right there, Android Tether. So let's go ahead and click on that. It's going to go ahead and sync with it. Once it does, as soon as it does, I'm just going to click Home here. And my my Droid just made a weird, funny noise, and it's saying up here at the top of the notification panel, wireless Tether currently running, wireless Tether AC disabled. Um, Ryan's iPhone, you know, is connected. So that's cool. So now we're connected. If I pick up my iPhone here and we, you know, obviously launch uh, a browser, Google, let's just do a search real quick. Droid. We'll just do a search. And voila, there's there's Droid search. I, did, I think I did that. <laughs> I did that. Um, did I do a Droid? Yeah. I did the search in Google Images, so um, there you go. That's how to wireless tether. I mean, obviously, I just did it with my iPhone. It works just fine. Um, to easily disable this, obviously, all you have to do is tap to stop tethering. So we're going to go ahead and tap it. And it's going to uh, ask this again. Let's click on allow. Remember, I mean, click allow. Stop tethering, and you're done. You have no more notifications up here. It's pretty much done, and that's it. That's how to wireless tether. Um, I just a quick information little tidbit here um, is that I've tried um, connecting another droid to this and I could never do it. I couldn't figure it out. So if those guys that figure it out post it up, let us know how to do it. I don't know if I'm just being a dumbass or I don't have the patience to do it right now, but I could not get two or three other people's droids to try to connect to mine for a wireless signal. Not that I'd want to because they already have good 3G. They have the same 3G I do. But for instance, in this case, I'm running an unlocked iPhone on um, on T-Mobile and T-Mobile doesn't have 3G on the iPhone right now. So it does come in handy. Um, and also, you know, it's pretty cool. You can, you know, use a laptop with this. Um, essentially, this it turns your Droid into a MiFi in a way. You could be in the car, and if people have laptops or netbooks or something like that, they could use your Droid as um, as a uh, as a Wi-Fi access point, which is really cool. And I tested it on some other laptops, and the speed's not bad at all. Um, I was getting like 1.2 megs a second, which is is very good considering this is a cell phone, guys. Um, you know, I know a lot of people out there, their home connections. Oh my God, I got 10 megs, 15 megs, 20 megs down. Um, you know, that's great and all, but this is wireless technology, so I think it's really awesome that we can make uh, uh, our phone into a Wi-Fi connection. Um, again, Verizon doesn't like this at all. Um, they say that they're going to be able to track it and whatever, whatever. Just remember, you signed up for an unlimited data plan. It's unlimited, whether Verizon likes it or not, or what you choose to do on it. So don't let them try to scare you into purchasing a phone as a modem plan because Stay tuned. They 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 will be launching that soon, and they will have like some sort of scare tactic. And uh, you know, oh my, you know, if you go over a certain amount, you know, they'll be able to know. You know, if you have a spike in data usage, they'll they'll totally be able to know. And if you do, it's not a big deal because you have every right to have a spike in data usage. So, use Wi-Fi tether as much as you want. Don't be afraid about what Verizon says because they're not going to be able to do anything about it. You pay thirty bucks a month for your unlimited data, so get what you can out of it. Um, thanks for watching guys please comment if you have any questions thank you all to that have helped out on the um, on the comment section and answered questions for me thanks again for watching stay tuned for more videos take care guys